So this Easter Sunday marks nine years since an earthquake was felt in Southern California. In Mexicali, there was a lot of damage after that 7.2 earthquake happened almost a decade ago. But as we close in on a decade, a new study shows that we are in an earthquake drought. And here to talk about what an earthquake drought is, is paleo seismologist Dr. Thomas Rockwell. Dr. Rockwell, welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. So researchers from the U.S. Geological Survey say there have been no major ground rupturing earthquakes along these three key faults over the past 100 years. Why is that significant? So almost all of the motion between the Pacific and North American plates, which is almost 50 millimeters a year, occurs on the faults of the San Andreas system. And principally in Southern California, that's the San Andreas, the San Jacinto, and the Elsinore faults. In Northern California, it's the San Andreas, the Calaveras, the Concord, the Macama, the Rogers Creek. There's a whole system of faults up there as well. And in the past 100 years, none of these faults have ruptured in a large earthquake. Whereas in the previous 1,000 years, there had not been a period of 100 years when one of these faults has not ruptured. Well, so given the passage of time then, is it fair and accurate to say that we're overdue for a large earthquake? We don't like to say overdue. But to show you how bad it is, or why we're so concerned, I'm sure you've heard people talk about the San Andreas is overdue or due for an earthquake. Right. So from dating past earthquakes from the geology that we do, uh, we know that the average recurrence interval, the average time between large earthquakes on the southernmost San Andreas is about 180 years. It's now been 300 years since the la last large earthquake. So this has led to the idea that Maybe we're overdue, uh, but there's caveats to that. Uh, in any case, it's very clear that the southern San Andreas is certainly ripe for a large earthquake, and the question is, why hasn't it happened? Mm -hmm. And then why hasn't a large earthquake occurred on the San Jacinto? We've had moderate earthquakes. Some people may remember earthquakes on the southern San Jacinto Fault in 1968. Uh, there was an earthquake on the Imperial Fault in 1979. So there have been some earthquakes, but they, rele they release so little energy, it's the big ones that rele uh, really release most of the energy, and those are the ones we're worried about. So which fault line should be of the greatest concern for those living in San Diego? Well, for San Diego, it's the Rose Canyon Fault, no question. But from our recent studies, and we just had a paper come out in the last few weeks, uh, the Rose Canyon Fault only produces these relatively large earthquakes in the high magnitude sixes about every six to eight hundred years. And the last one was just pre-mission, so in the last 300 years. So it's one that we're, that's not one that we say is overdue by any account. On the other hand, a strong earthquake on one of the offshore faults or the Elsinore would certainly produce strong shaking in San Diego. Uh, the one we're really worried about is the San Andreas. And I'm not so worried in San Diego for the San Andreas Fault. That one, if it ruptures from south to north, modeling studies have shown it does a tremendous amount of damage in Los Angeles. So that's the main concern, because that's where the main population uh, center is. Oh. Are you OK? San Francisco, Sacramento. Yeah, but I can't get home. Los Angeles. They fell, the bridge fell down. You know, I, re I remember the, the Bay Area earthquake, seeing that on television. I was living, you know, back home in St. Louis, Missouri. And shortly after that happened, we had someone come through who predicted that there would be a major earthquake in Missouri. And there were all of these measures taken to secure school buildings and school desks and things like that. Is there really a way to predict when an earthquake will happen? No, we cannot predict earthquakes. And in terms of prediction, we're talking short-term prediction. What we do is we study the past history of earthquakes on a fault. And then based on the statistics, we forecast the probability or the likelihood of an earthquake occurring in say a 30 or 50 year window. Even the Rose Canyon Fall, we say, you know, it just had a big earthquake a few hundred years ago, uh, but it could still have a magnitude six at any time. And we had one in San Diego historically uh, in uh, 1862. And we didn't have a newspaper at the time. We didn't have KPBS, but it was called the Day of Terror in the Los Angeles Star. So it was about a magnitude six and it ruptured uh, in the Old Town area. We know that from the work we've done in Old Town. We found the, actually the displacement from that earthquake at the surface, and it faults historical deposits. So a six at any time would still do a lot of damage in San Diego. 
I've been speaking with Dr. Thomas Rockwell, a paleo seismologist at SDSU. Dr. Rockwell, thank you very much. It's been my pleasure.